mother fucker. Did I, did I miss anything? Is YouTube still a thing? Did anything happen when I was gone? Don't, hold on. Does diet soda still give you cancer? I'll see Rob here. How are you? And welcome back to the YouTube studios of LT Rob. Hey. Where's all that fucking crying coming from? It's coming from you, you stupid fucking pussy. Fuck you. And so it just wrapped up, right? The 50th running of the fucking bulk masters. I don't know what you call these guys. Am I butt hurt? Am I. Well, oh, yeah. Am I being a hater? Am I being a dickhead? Eh, maybe. I love me some Arnold. Look at this guy, man. Oh, that guy looked fucking good. Am I being a hypocrite because he wasn't as much of a freak as these guys? Maybe. These guys are several inches shorter and many pounds heavier. I mean, where does it end? Their guts are distended. It doesn't look good. And to refer to them as an example of fitness just doesn't rub me the right way. And Kai Greenman know all kinds of shit about rubbing. Have you seen him with the grapefruit? It's not pretty. All I know is this. Is this is nothing more than a pageant. It's no different than this, really. People get up and do this, people fucking judge it, and it's all about opinion and bullshit. The only exciting thing this year, supposedly, was a fight on stage between Kai Green and Phil Heath, but in reality, these bitches fight. And uh, they're natty. And so, when they want to win shit, they take people's knees. That's what they do, they don't fuck around. That wasn't a fight, that was two prima donnas posing on stage. You know, I'm sure they're great guys and all that kind of bullshit, but they're not fit, though. There hasn't been an actual fit natural bodybuilder since this fucker was around. That was a long goddamn time ago. He was about the same height as those guys and weighed about a buck eighty. Some reports have him at about 200, but I'm gonna say that's probably bullshit. And even if it isn't, so what? These guys are stepping on stage at 250 and more at 5'8", 5'9", and ripped. It's just, I don't understand the purpose of it. I really don't. I understand working out. I understand trying to build strength. I understand the performance of it. And I have nothing but the deepest admiration and respect for the natural bodybuilder who diets down for weeks on end and denies themselves their very existence as a human being while their mind, body, and soul is screaming at them to eat. And they quietly diet down and step on stage with what God gave them. These guys don't even do that. They're so full of fucking drugs, it's not even funny. It's not even the slightest bit impressive. And when they use that as uh, a platform to be a spokesmodel, to push fitness world lies on the generally uh, not really hip to the what's going down public, and young innocent minds that don't know any better, well, then it just pisses me off. No, this isn't an attainable physique. No, you don't need their advice. No, you don't need to buy that $10 magazine to find out what their diet and or exercise program is because they're on mega drugs. And also, more importantly, maybe even than that, they have superior genetics. They're genetic outliers. They have more going for them than you ever will. No amount of drugs will get you there. In fact, if anybody can look like this by eating the way they eat, shooting what they shoot, and training how they train, I'll suck my own cock right now. That didn't work out too good. I don't really have the mobility of a top-level performer like Kai Green, though. Oh my god. That's fucked up. And for all those of you thinking, you skinny, stupid old man, he'd crush you. No, I'd just fast walk across the street or maybe break into a light jog and it'd be over. He can't catch me. 
And if he did, what's he going to do? Take a grapefruit to me? I'm not really too worried about it. But what is disturbing is the amount of people in the supposed fitness community of YouTube who promote this shit. Like it's a positive good thing to be so stoked full of fucking drugs that you're a goddamn science experiment. Shouldn't the real person that gets awarded the prize at the end of this fucking fiasco be the pharmacist? Shouldn't this really be a contest of who the best druggist is? Because I'm not really impressed with what went down there. And what's most disturbing possibly is the fact that you get quotes like this from the winner they give the impression that there's some secret formula that he's stumbled upon and that you could somehow attain it yourself. You can't. Or how about this thought from Bleacher Report? He's locked in for another three or four years easily. Well, it sounds to me like it's a big rigged fucking scam job. I'm not buying it.